Hi, my name is Wes Schaefer and today I'm going to show you how to determine which oxygen sensor is giving you problems when you get a check engine light. You're going to get two different numbers when you get the check engine light red, either at your parts store or if you have a code reader. There's going to be a bank number and there's going to be a sensor number. The bank number refers to which side of the engine it's on. Uh, bank 1 is going to be where the number 1 cylinder is. Bank 2 is going to be the opposite side. If you have an inline engine, then you should only have to worry about bank 1. Um, sensor number refers to if it's before or after the catalytic converter. Sensor 1 is before the catalytic converter. Sensor 2 is after the catalytic converter. So, I'm going to show you the website I use in determ determining where the number 1 cylinder is on your car because that's the biggest thing when you have to do this job. I'm going to show you the website that I use to find out the number one cylinder position in your car. I use it through our library system. If you do a search for Milwaukee County Catalog, it'll be come up as Milwaukee County Cat. And click on that. And go over here. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Go down to databases. Choose your residence. Just click the first one. And then go to automotive and home. Click submit. And then you'll come up with this database right here. Click on that. And we're going to be using a 2001 Toyota Sienna minivan for an example. Select that. Hit repair information. And type in firing order. and it should pull up firing orders right here and it will give you a diagram of your vehicle. I'll zoom in here a little bit. Alright, so this is showing the front of the vehicle, the way your engine sits, and you can see number one cylinder is right here. So this is where the firewall of your vehicle is, front, and so if you get a bank 2 sensor 1 code, that's telling you it's on this side of the engine, exhaust manifold's right here, and sensor 1, so your sensor will be right here. Bank 1, sensor 1, here's your number 1 cylinder, and your O2 sensor that you need replacement is right here. Now if you get a bank 1, sensor 2, that will be after the catalytic converter, so it will be the downstream sensor. These two on the bank one or bank two sensor one, those ones are referred to as upstream sensors. Anything after the catalytic converter is a downstream sensor. Just in case you can't find your vehicle on that website I showed you, I'm going to show you another one. You can go to AutoZone's website. You'll have to create a profile and log in, but once you're in there, you can punch in your vehicle. I'm just going to use a 2003 Chevy Silverado with a V8 in it just to show you one other thing. So you can type in firing order or fire order. Click on that and then you're gonna click under the vehicle specs and it will show you once this pulls up I'll enlarge this. Okay. So now it's showing you the side of the engine with the number one cylinder on. And then here's the opposite side over here. So if you get a bank one sensor one, your O2 sensor will be on this side of the engine and before the catalytic converter. And then bank two sensor one would be on the opposite side. I'm not sure if this one has two catalytic converters, but some cars, especially trucks, you'll see with two catalytic converters. If you get a bank one sensor two, 
it's going to tell you it's on this side of the engine and it's going to be the O2 sensor after this side's catalytic converter. Bank 2 sensor 2 would be this side of the engine and it would be after this side's catalytic converter. Okay, this is on a 2001 Toyota Sienna minivan. The sensor up front, located right here, is the sensor bank 2 sensor 1, also known as an upstream sensor. And from underneath the vehicle, looking forward towards the engine, O2 sensor located right here. That is bank one, sensor one. You can look at my other video that has a code of P1135 for replacement of that one. And then the last O2 sensor located right here. That's the downstream sensor located after the catalytic converter. Catalytic converter is right here. That one's going to be referred to as bank one sensor two and if you have a different setup where you have two catalytic converters you can use that system I showed you before on how to determine which downstream sensor to change and I also have another video showing how to replace this one